Well, hats off to our Chiefs fans. Six time in a row to the big AFC showdown, second all-time record. Mahomes has officially won his first road game in the post, and now the kingdom has a chance to add the cherry on top. Avenge the one time we've met the Ravens in the playoffs, and they bested us. We played in the Super Bowl in Tampa Bay. We lost that one. I didn't like to bring that one up, but I mean, it's it's we've played basically road road playoff games before. Um, but uh, I mean, we just come in with the same mindset. If we're going to come together, put our best foot forward, and see if we can come out with a win, and that takes uh, the mentality throughout the week. It takes every single play executing, um, and we did a great job of that today, and we we're able to score enough to win. Sticking to the East Coast, the Chiefs head a couple states south of New York to Baltimore to meet the Ravens in their nest this Sunday, January 28th at 2 p.m. Vanessa, I can tell that you are very excited about that Chiefs win last night. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm still on my high, Courtney. I mean, I went to bed at 9 last night, and let's see, I got up at like 1.30 this morning, so... Uh, but it was all worth it. I am so happy our boys have made it to the AFC Championship game, Courtney. So go Chiefs! Let's hope for the best this, this upcoming Sunday. And Baltimore, because the Ravens are good. It's, it's going to be one of those games that we're just going to be biting our nails like we did last night to the very end. So uh, stay tuned, everyone, for that as we still have to get through a active work week with our weather as we are expecting some chances of a wintry mix as we head into the next 24 hours. A winter weather advisory is in effect this morning for us here in Northwest Missouri and Northeast Kansas as we are expecting some chances of a wintry precipitation mix that could make roads slick this morning. But notice on our satellite and radar over the last several hours, it's been dissipating. That is because it is so dry here in the northern half of the state that barely any of that precipitation, those blues and pinks colors that you're seeing signifying freezing rain, sleet, snow, hasn't been reaching the ground, at least for us here. It's a different story when you go south into southern Missouri, like Joplin, Springfield, St. Louis, down into Arkansas, where they're getting a good dosing of some freezing rain or wintry mix this morning. So if you are traveling south today, do allow for some extra travel time and slow down on the roads if you do encounter those slick spots. Again, that's saving grace for us is the dew points sitting in the 20s, signifying of just how dry it is for us here in northern Missouri into northern Kansas. Roads, though, are a little slick and wet this morning due to the melting snow that we have been getting since yesterday. You can see it really well in Frederick Avenue overlooking East Hills Mall on our Reed Automotive camera this morning. Could have refroze overnight, especially on those side streets, so do allow for some extra travel time if you are heading out the door to work and school. Look at these temperatures. This is a win in my book. This is the first time that we are waking up to temperatures in the 20s to near 30 degrees in like over a week. Don't forget, we only topped out in the upper 20s last week before the other dose of that bitter cold arrived. So guess what? With these southerly winds that are going to be picking up today, gusting up to 20, 25 miles per hour at times, that's going to play a role in our temperatures as we're finally finally going to be above freezing here with a high of 34 35 degrees as we head into the afternoon. So here is the breakdown. Here is disturbance number one. That is what's bringing the freezing rain to our friends south this morning. Again, cannot rule out the chance for us maybe seeing another round of a wintry mix as we head into the overnight hours into Tuesday morning as a second disturbance is going to be moving in from the south. Now again, the overnight temperatures are going to play a factor with that because we're going to be hoovering around that freezing mark of 32 degrees. So it's either going to be an all cold rain or maybe a wintry mix. So that is something we'll have to watch and keep you updated on throughout the day today. And notice this cold front. It's going to stay north of us with a warm front accompanied with it. So that's going to keep us in a warm air mass. So we're going to have a third disturbance pushing through here Tuesday night into Wednesday. But as of right now, it's looking to be all rain for us as we're going to be staying above freezing as we get into Wednesday morning. So the latest hour by hour forecast again for today, those southerly winds going to help those temperatures get up to the mid 30s. 
Stinky. We're going to be staying cloudy and dry for the most part heading into tonight, though. We are going to be seeing that chance of a cold rain or a wintry mix trying to move through here as we head into tomorrow morning. Then all of this activity should be out of here by late Tuesday morning. And then here comes that third round of precipitation. Thankfully, this time it's looking more it's going to be an all rain, but this is something we're going to be watching as we head into the next 24 to 48 hours. So keep it tuned here to KQ2 for the very latest. Mike Brasiano will, of course, have the latest forecast for you tonight on KQ2 News at 5, 6 and 10. So for today for us, cloudy for the most part with Temperatures topping out a few degrees above freezing at 35 degrees. Here comes that chance of a wintry mix tonight into Tuesday, Courtney. And then as we head into Wednesday, more of a rain event for us as those temperatures continue to climb up above average into the 40s and a much drier pattern as we head into the second half of the work week into the weekend. Thank you, Vanessa.